Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Joan rides this bike everywhere. Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. What's it doing here? I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Aw, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I... I, uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a uh, bug, just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Uh, don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is there something wrong with your mom? No. I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. I'm here now, Bug. I have your back. I promised you I would look into your father's death, and I'm doing it. I'm here now, Bug. Listening. I was there in the parking lot, listening. Yeah, well... But... You're just gonna leave... Again... Another... Two years? Forever? I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares.
I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. Oh, so I'm mistaken and you did question people? Or did you just say all those dumb things adults say that don't mean anything? They wouldn't have told me anything interesting. Or you were just like them. This place is full of gutless patronizing adults, and I'm sick of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? Remember what we said this morning? You could be anything you want. You don't want to stay in this town? You don't have to. But leaving like this? Running away? That's not gonna help anything. Thanks for listening. But I don't know if I can take this place anymore. Can't you try? What would your father say? You're just telling me what I want to hear. Or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth. For once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you, I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going, and you can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about next death. You can't do that. You're the adult, she's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing, make her stay. It's for her own good. You were right, Bug. Your father didn't die in that crash. Someone killed him and covered it up, made it look like an accident. Now, I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. I was right? You were right. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even my And mom. I need you to stay at home. I will. I'm gonna go home right now. Thank you, Sam. I don't know if that was a good idea. <sighs> Me neither. But hey, it worked. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town... Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Bug never was the social type, just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Man, Bug certainly grew up faster than I realized. <laughs> Joan always liked Bugs. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Buck. was there too. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate.
tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone-cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood.
These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? All right, I think I went through everything here. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Let's see what we have here. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Richard, a.k.a. Dicky, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dicky, Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is.
Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood Jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you found. That's what a sane person does. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? I don't have any great ideas, but I know I'll do what I have to do. <laughs> At least we're equally clueless. There's comfort in that. Yeah. I hate feeling like the only one in the dark. The dark isn't as spooky when someone else is with you. We just need to be careful and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lions. That's enough. What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. It's the knowing they might get away with it. The lie they made up being seen as true that just burns a hole right through me. Yeah, you're right, I think. Then I think something else 10 seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. And now we're riding straight into the back roads with no backup. You're afraid to let things go. Maybe she'd be lucky if she never saw you again. Are you still with me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you're just gonna keep telling me off. Disregard my advice. Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 Sure you want to keep going? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure? You can rest in the car while I ask around. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. 
Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Ow! Watch it! The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? Kayla? You know Ethan? Yeah, I knew him. You're his sister, right? I was. So, are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dickie. I don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud, goes off road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole, occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. It could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. Fits right in. Anna always fits right in. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? Yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. You never have any trouble with anyone. No one takes advantage? As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others, even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. <laughs> The clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts.
Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. How did you Nana meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you're not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. Just tell me where Dicky is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. So Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. Dickie's gotta be in one of these places. There's a quad, but Dickie's supposed to be in a trailer. That's Tyler's. Dickie's supposed to be off, away from everyone. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. Sup? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR, I'm... Wait. You're that fucking reporter! I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face! I'm just looking for Dickie. And you think I'll snitch? Get the fuck out of here. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Guess that explains how he ended up here. Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here or have you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Scarier men than you have tried. You should get out of my way. I crack your skull wide open, you little bitch. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me, but I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details.
It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. These shavings would be perfect kindling. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Varnish. Cans empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. I've got that squared away. Now I need a place to hide when all hell breaks loose. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. It's deep enough. I could squeeze in here. I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. She said this place could go up like a bunch of kindling. No other option. Hey, uh, Anna. Can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't gonna be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? I need to create a distraction to get to Dickie. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed.
That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dicky. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. Calm down, it'll be okay. Oh, we're so hard on. 